But the decorated hush hush samples arrives. Eagerly awaited BR clan for six two to have. Oh, that sounds good. Cool. Hello and welcome to the Hornby the Collector, issue 129, autumn 2021. What about the clan gathering? We've got Hornby on TV and it says Ghost over Stanmore. Let's open up and see what we've got inside. Got about a little advert for the Hornby magazine, 12 issues per year. Contents, got news, Ghost over Stanmore, Letters from America, competition, Hornby crossword, inside view. Just a few things. There's the great suspension bridge which I've got over here. I've got two of them. The decorated hush hush samples arrives. Got the new clan almost ready. Decorated samples of the Hornby eagerly awaited BR clan for six two to have right for assessment at Margate and should be in the shops after a long absence from the Hornby catalogue. Oh, that sounds good. Just notice it says similar same thing about the hush hush. It says Hornby has received the latest decorated samples of the eagerly awaited one off W1464s. These latest versions of Grayslee's unique creations benefit of improved assembly tolerance and decorations although some additional work is still required before they and move into progress, up into production at Hornby on TV. It's on the Yesterday channel. If you can't get the Yesterday channel like I can't, you can go on the internet, you can watch the series on the internet. In the last issue of the Collector 128, we announced that Hornby will soon be on TV again. Further information can now be available on the UK TV original series due to air on Yesterday channel from Monday, 10th of October, 9 pm. It's quite good, going like behind the scenes. So if you're into model railways, have also done airfix. They were trying to model a biplane, I think it was. That was quite interesting. Christmas Grotto, Ghost over Stanmore, inspired by his scrapbook from 70 years ago. Ian Lamb takes an imaginary trip along Stanmore line in steam days, which has since explored in part on foot. Stanmore Route, Barnard Castle, Bowles, Kirksley Stephen E, East, Musgrove, Walkhall, Appleby. Some snowy scenes. This snow has drifted into the line during a bitterly cold day at Stanmore Summit Signal Box in 1962, I think that says, or 82, can't quite read that. Now oh, that looks like inside the signal box. Stanmore Summit, height 1,370 feet. Interesting building here. An IVET 4MT260. It's inspired through courtesy Stephen East as it shunts its train to an open wagon on the 15th of April 1965, three years after the line closed as a through route. Looks like an engine shed with a platform with it. Nice old photos there. Model shot of the year. If you have taken an impressive model shot that you're proud of then why not enter the Hornby model shot of the year for your chance to win £500 worth of Hornby products. Send your image to marketing at hornby.com for the 29th of October 2021 to enter. I think that date might have been gone by the time you've seen this but if you go to hornby.com you might see the results. And then there's a magazine, well not a magazine, this book, should I call it really, called Railways in the Drawing. I saw a TV programme about this. It would be difficult to find a completely original book on railways that informs and surprising us of equal measures. Christian Walmart. It's from the uh, Railway Museum. With different railway drawings of uh, trains and things to do with the railways. Somebody from America sent them the uh, a letter about their layout. Another person with a really big layout. Spending probably weeks on it I imagine. Very impressive. trying to recreate our city. It says he's a Brit living in California apart from a very brief stint back in the UK in the early 2000s. He's been living in there for about 25 years so he's basically someone who moved to America. He's done an English scenery. And there's a 
Great British Model Railway Show, 30th to 31st of October 2021. I don't know if I'll be going to that or not. Tale of the Two Royal Princesses. The modern Warby Model Rain had roots in its past. Second World War company called Rovex Plastics Limited, which had a small factory in the form of a brewery in Richmond, South London. The very first of the company made that was based in the, on the LMS Princess Royal class and was called the Princess Elizabeth. At the play trains for the younger generation, remote control plastic track. Well, apparently, according to this photograph here, it fits on the normal railway as well, keeping the straps spray on track. Long awaited return of the oldest Black Five in preservation has been greeted with wide acclaim, but without quality track work to operate it on, all that hard work could be in vain. moment of history as the number 5025 restored the church close as possible in 1934 as built condition stands outside Cheddar Erin's Moor for those present to admire. At the play train, build the car dealership. Do you have a collection of die cast cars looking for home? Just shows you how to build it. Competition win Santa's Express. Everybody knows the answer to this question. How many reindeer does Santa have to pull his sleigh at Christmas? Oh. Special offers and attraction. I've already bought uh, one of them masks. Actually, NEM Design Studios. I bought a mask and some socks. They're really good, really comfy to wear. 25% discount for some books. Limited edition Hornby Century stamp collection collectible. So you want to get some stamps. Like crossroads, might try this a little bit later on. Now you can do a makeover for class 90, take it apart and add bits to it. Interview with Jacqueline Wilson about her latest railway book, Primrose Railway Children. I saw that in the shop somewhere, I think it was. It remembers letters. Oh, there's the answers to the crossword. I won't look at that now because it's by Born Again Utility Van. Photos of some different type of buffers there. Don't look like sprung buffers. A bit dark. You can buy a Sir Winston Churchill funeral train. Don't know why you want to buy that. And that wagon there. A bit like a carriage but without any seats in it. That's apparently where his coffin was stored in. Don't know why you want to buy that for, but there you go. Hornby Double O Merchant Navy. There you go, there's mine. Anything looks slightly different, it's a number of course. One in the magazine's 35011, mine's 35029, so mine's a slightly higher number. I'll show you a link in my review of this loco. Got very good detail. Cab. It's a nice 462, a nice tender. Nice Merchant Navy in showcase. MK1 back in the shops. In City second series Merchant Tender. Oh, you can buy it without coal, so you can put your own coal in, or perhaps the coal. You can take the coal bit out, so you can put your own, own coal in, maybe perhaps. I'm not too sure. And then there's a DVD. I should imagine with, with a book. I think called Trackside. And connect with Formby of the usual ways. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. They say TikTok, but I don't see much on them with TikTok. I'm on TikTok. Anyway, that's my quick review of the issue 129. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe out passing by, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.